research topic. Now you have a problem. Now, let's go to the topic. You have a problem, now we are moving to the topic. I repeat, you must have a problem before you move to the topic. Now, how do you design a good research topic? What are the pillars of a good research topic? The pillars are four. And I'm going to draw four boxes here. The first box, I'm going to level it, independent, variable. The second box, I'm going to level it, dependent variable. This one, I'm going to label it, target, population. And the last one, I'm going to call it study population. Some writers will call it scope. But I prefer to use the term study population. Number one, let's go to the basics. What is a variable? The best definition of the word variable is a characteristic, a characteristic. I'm noting down that word, characteristic. And that characteristic changes or varies I would like to challenge my brother that a characteristic we are talking about here is a characteristic of an entity. So it's not an entity. A variable is not an entity. Okay? We are going to get a bit theoretical here for the moment. When we talk about a variable, we are talking about that which changes. A characteristic that changes. Can you, you, yourself, can you be a characteristic? Are you a characteristic? Are you? How many people here are characteristics? Raise your hands up. If you are a characteristic of anything, yes, you are characteristic of what? Of your parents. You are characteristic of what? Of religion. Let me tell you something. If you told me today that I'm a characteristic, that is an insult right there. That's an insult right there. I am not a characteristic of anything, and I have characteristics of me. I am the entity. I am the entity. And I have characteristics of me. What are my characteristics, ladies and gentlemen? What are my characteristics? Yes? Audible. <laughs> you know that is an insult. <laughs> and I'm not sure you will continue giving such examples. We will call security before long. <laughs> okay, something else? Okay, okay, now, not me. Now, not me. <laughs> I cannot allow you people to go that direction. I'm seeing some people are just ready to say, oh, now we will tear this guy apart now. Now let us go now, now. <laughs> what are characteristics of a human being? What will define the characteristics of a human being? Give me those things, yes. Not growth, eh, growth, eh, yes, 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 it's true. Growth could vary, huh? there are those who grow faster, those who grow slower. Yes, what else? Thank you, that is true, that's one of them, yes. Yes? Okay, personality will define a person. Yes? Gender. Gender will be a way that we will define a person. Characteristics of a human being. Now, let me ask you another question. Does gender change? Does it change? Yes, it does. It does. Look, the changing in research that we are talking about is not flipping from one side to the other. It is about how they may occur. You understand? 
You may occur either as this or as, as this. That is a change. Do you understand what we're talking about? In research, we are not talking about that which could be this way today and tomorrow this way. Now, height is a variable, true or false? Is your height changing now? It changed some time before, but it remains a variable on you. Did you get it? It remains a variable. So that when we study many people, we will find taller, shorter, taller, shorter, taller, shorter, taller, like that. You understand what we're talking about? Don't consider it within yourself. Number two, when you talk about male or female, the variation could be amongst the respondents. This one says, I mean, this one is male, this is female. Male, female, 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 like in the MBA program. Female, 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 then one male there. There. Then female, 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 female. <laughs> then you see a male passing there, looking miserable. <laughs> you know we are outnumbered. You understand? And these people are taking over everything. Yeah, you are aware. And you're doing nothing about it. <laughs> Continue doing nothing about it. Okay. Now, I want to say, in the same, same way, you are not a variable. Kenya is not a variable. Africa is not a variable. The world is not a variable. All those things I've mentioned are entities. But they have characteristics. What are characteristics of Kenya, for example? Kenyan? Someone say population right now. That is the first example. The second example of variables about Kenya? Yes? Kenyan climate could change. Uh -huh. Corruption. Corruption levels. Okay? Corruption levels. There are some times that adding another word to the word you're thinking about makes it a, vari a variable. And leaving that word alone, it becomes an entity. Corruption is not a variable. But corruption levels is the variable we are talking about. Do you get the point? You add a word that quantifies that entity, and you make it a variable. Now, is there anyone who is not clear about what a variable is? Now, we know what a variable is. A good topic must have independent variable and dependent variable. What is independent variable? Independent variable is also called... In one way, it's called the cause. Cause. And when the independent variable is called cause, the dependent variable is called effect. Did you get that? When the independent variable is called cause, the dependent variable is called effect. There are other ways of, uh, of referring to these two variables. The independent variable could be called a predictor variable. When this one is called predictor, this one is called outcome. When the other one is called predictor. Are we okay? Now, I want us to be sure that we understand the difference between dependent and independent. Please, every time you want to tell between these two, I will advise you to start thinking from dependent. Do not start thinking from independent. It will confuse you. Why? Think of a patient. Okay? You are my patient. Okay? Just sit. Just sit. Patients don't have to stand up. Okay, now you are my patient. Now I'm going to give you an injection. Here is my injection. Raise your hand because now I'm giving you a jab here. Now, here is the injection. As I'm giving him this injection, which one is dependent and which one is independent? Is he dependent or is this injection dependent? Or is he independent or is this injection independent? Which one is independent and which one is dependent? Start thinking from dependent. Who depends? On the other, he depends. 
That's how you get it right. If you start thinking from independent, you start asking, what is the definition of independent now? Now, whatever is dependent, we've defined. He depends. So, the other thing is independent. If he's unwell and he gets this job, he will either get better, get worse, or even die from this injection. True or false? Now, in research, there is no topic without those two variables, the dependent and the independent. Every research topic must have two variables. What is a variable? A variable is a characteristic that varies. And one of them must be causing something, and the other one is being affected by the one causing. Two variables must be there. Kindly give me examples of two variables from your area of concentration where one affects the other. Very quick answers. Very quick answers because we have a lot to do. Very quick answers. Give me two variables where one variable affects the other or one variable depends on the other. Yes. He is talking about capital. What is affecting the other? What is causing? What is independent? Uh, talent, management. talent management is dependent. Dependent. Okay. Talent. Okay. What is independent talent management? So talent management is affecting something. Is that what you're saying? Talent management is affecting something. Now, my question is, is talent management a, a, a characteristic of something else? Number two, does it change? Could you vary management? Could you ma vary management? Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You could vary management every day. Okay? Yes. Okay. That's a good idea. But I would like to advise you that in research, management, management by itself could be varied by, for example, styles of management. You understand? That is what you're talking about, the variations. Okay. But what is it you're thinking? I want to first of all get it as it is in your mind. Then we work on it. Okay. So according to you, talent management is affecting what? Staff retention. Staff retention. Talent management is affecting staff retention. Now, I will ask you a question. I'm trying now to get into this area. Talent management is affecting staff retention in the whole world. Is that what you're trying to say? In Africa? Is it in Kenya? Is it in Nairobi? Now, I am already knocking on this door. Target population. What is target population? I will use a book by Mugenda and Mugenda 2003. Open this book and read page 41 and and let's hear what a target what is this that is target population what is target population whatever is highlighted for you okay read very loudly yes target population is the population for which the researcher wants to generalize the findings Many researchers make a serious mistake. They think the target population is the population that receives the questionnaires. Target population is not the population that will receive the questionnaires. 
or that will receive the instrument for data collection. And realize I didn't say instrument of data collection. I said instrument for data collection. Okay? Target population is the population for which research findings are generalizable. When you generalize, do you generalize on a small group or on the widest possible group? Other writers have said that target population could be not what I have said, could be a population that is not accessible. Other uh, writers have said that target population might not be accessible, but sometimes it could be accessible. But in most cases, it's not accessible. Why? Because you will study a smaller group, but you will generalize the findings to a wider group. Which is the widest group that will benefit from these findings? Give me that widest group. So, talent management is affecting staff retention within which widest group? Yes? The word corporate means organization. You are repeating yourself. Within which group? Or within which sector? Or within which industry? Now, let me help you think. Talent management could affect staff retention. In order for you to get good findings, you must look for a sector or an industry that seems to be having the issue of retention. Which industry is this? Where people are churning out. Yes? Yes, which one? Service industry. Okay, so I will specify here service industry where? In the world or in Kenya or in Africa or in where? Okay, let's assume service industry in Kenya. Now, will you distribute these instruments for data collection to all the players within the service industry in Kenya? Will you? Chances are you will need to look for one organization within that service industry where now you will do your sampling. Okay? So, which one do you think is a good organization within the service industry where we could base our study? Give me an example of an organization within the service industry that we could base our study. Yes? 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 Okay. Hotel? Yeah, which hotel that has people who could give us a lot of information, that has a critical mass of, of, of maybe employees or maybe customers that we could distribute uh, the instruments for data collection? Yes? Yes? Sarova Stanley. Sarova Stanley. Please note, in as much as we've not taken a lot of time, this is a topic. This is a topic right there. And this topic could read, for example, the role of talent management do we say role on or role in? Effects of A on B. Role of A in B. Role of this in. Okay, when you use the word role, please Google, those of you who are good at Googling. Google, you realize this is true, okay? When you say effects of A on B, when you say the role of A in B, okay? Check that. Now, I'm adding a word outside here that will help to make this a sentence. Within the service industry in Kenya, I'll put full columns here, and I will add the words, a case of Sarova Stanley. Full stop. That's our research 
topic. We want to find out the role of talent management in staff retention. Please note, in uh, management, we consider management itself a variable. Please note that. So do not be over disturb yourself about trying to quantify that variable, the management thing. We consider management itself as a characteristic, okay, within an organization, and it changes. You could change it by changing the style, by changing your strategy, okay? So there are changes, many changes within management. Now, this is a very simple topic right there. Now, I would like to change my direction just a bit. If you wanted to change anything on your topic, please remember you have how many aspects? Four. But there are cases where you could have how many? Three. And I will explain under what circumstances. But please remember, there basically are four aspects that we are seeing there that you may want to change. By changing any aspect of this, you are changing your topic. You get the point? You get the point? But the study, your study, is grounded on the variables. You understand? Most of what you'll be writing about from the beginning to the end of your study, you'll be writing about these two aspects. Now, when could you have three aspects and not four? Is there someone who could be visualizing an answer to that question? Under what circumstances could you be having three aspects and not four, as we are seeing them there? Under which circumstances would you have three aspects instead of four? We have independent variable, we have dependent variable, we have target population, and we have the study population. Yes. Maybe you leave out study population and you, you are right in a way. Why? You can never play around with your variables. The only things you can play around are study population and this. Let me give you an example where you could Yes, please do. You can avoid target population and focus on the population. When you are looking at a possible sample, possible population that you want to study. Thank you. You are already thinking in the right direction. Have you ever imagined that there are cases where the target population and the study population is one and the same thing? For example, if you want to carry out a research on effects of teaching methodology on academic performance of Islamic universities in Kenya, a case study of Umma University. Let me repeat. You want to carry out a study on effects of teaching methodology on academic performance of Islamic universities in Kenya, a case of Umma University. What is wrong with that study? Do we have any other Islamic university be be besides Umma in Kenya? Is it there? Okay. Then you are lying to people about Islamic universities in Kenya which do not exist. So how should that study read? It will read effects of teaching methodology on academic performance of Umma University, period. 
you get the point? Do not, therefore, criticize studies that you see are having a one population. But it must be grounded on solid grounds that the target population and the study population are actually one and the same thing. So you cannot generalize your findings to any wider population. It's the same population. You understand? Are we okay up to that point? I'm moving forward.